Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I would like to explain to you what persistent options are when you're creating a persistent USB drive. And I'm gonna show it on the MX Linux example. I will explain what different persistent options are so you can choose the one that fits for you. We're gonna quickly go through all different options. So let's get started. But before start, if you're first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Also, if you like this video and find it helpful, Please support with your like. If you will have any comments, questions after this video, please drop them down in the comment section below. But without further ado, let's get started. Okay, go ahead and insert the USB drive with the flash MX Linux on it, power on the computer. If you wanna enable persistence on this USB drive, because by default, no persistence is enabled, which means that the session will entirely run in RAM and all changes will be lost upon reboot you need to go to the advanced options, then go to persistence option. And here you can choose a few different options. Let's quickly go through these options. Normally the first option would fit for most users, persist all, which stores the root file system in RAM and the home directory on a persistent device. It's ideal for users who want a mix of speed, using RAM for system operations and persistent storage for user data. Then persist root means both root and home are stored in RAM. It is suitable for temporary sessions where changes to both system and user data are discarded after reboot. It is faster, but no data are saved. Then persist static. The root and home are stored separately on a persistent device. It allows changes to both system files and user files to be saved. Then pstatic root combines root and home folder on a single persistent storage. It's useful for saving changes to both the system and user data in one location. Then persist home. In this mode, only the home directory is stored on a persistent device. The root is in RAM. It saves user data such as documents, settings, but discards system settings. The frugal modes are similar to persistence mode, but are designed for installations where the entire live system is copied to a device like a hard drive or USB stick instead of running directly from the ISO. As you can see, the frugal settings are pretty similar. So the key differences would be that the persist operates directly from the ISO loaded on the USB drive. It saves changes to a persistent storage if enabled and frugal copies the live system entirely to a device for faster access, but requires more setup and can be more efficient than running directly from the ISO. I would just choose persist all and that should be good and then it would save the changes both to the operating system and to the user's files such as documents, so it will be very nice. After that, go to Save Options and choose GRUB Save Save Options and press Enter. Now if we go back to the menu and then go to Advanced Settings, as you can see, the Persist All is already saved, so we can go ahead and start using this live USB. Well, there you have it, all different persistent options that you can choose when creating a persistent USB drive of MX Linux. And it gives you a better understanding what it means when root is in the RAM and home is on persistent device so that you can choose what works for you. For example, for me, persistent all probably works the best because I would like to save both system settings and user files. But if you wanna have it super quick and just have it all in the RAM, you can use a different option. So I hope you find this helpful. If you like it, please support with a like, subscribe to the channel for more helpful videos. And if you have any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. Also, if you like this content and would like to support my channel, please check out the links in the description. I appreciate it very much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.